But evolution is the work of the devil. The devil wants us to sin. I can assure you, I am not under the influence of the devil. Do you even believe in him? No. Step one. We were in a small Midwestern town, and Ms. Kelly's biology classroom has been interrupted by this young man um, who has uh, posed some what he believes are scientific questions that he wants answered in the class. The debate surrounds evolution and creationism. I mean, how can you believe in Jesus' resurrection but not the fall in the Garden of Eden? As uh, the play is a, a battle between um, faith and science in some ways, the characters are struggling with an intellectual battle versus an emotional battle. And I'm, a, I'm kind of a science nerd, I like that stuff, and there's a good helping of science in this play, and yet the way it's served up is, I think, digestible for everybody, and yet it will be revelatory for people. Hey, wasn't Darwin a priest or something? He had a degree in theology. There seems to be a lot of intellectual brain talk, but under it is this big heartbeat of these characters trying to find each other as people. Miss Kelly and I are just trying to show you that evolution doesn't contradict religion. The two can go hand in hand. Darwin didn't say he knew how life began. He only said, this is how it works after it has begun. The more the conflict grows, the better the student and this teacher get to know each other, and the more they like each other. It helps them continue to try to communicate and bridge the gap that is between them in a positive way. Is it possible that those teachers, wherever they're from, are teaching a curriculum that's wrong? Not likely. But possible, though. <laughs> I think we have assumptions about each other as characters, and anything you might have bigotry about when you're faced with a human being instead of an idea, that's when, that's when communication can happen, and love can happen, and understanding can happen, and that's what happens with the teacher and the student here. We live in a world where politicians lie and make it truth, and um, that this play argues for a kind of saner approach to um, any kind of argument or disagreement. The material is sensitively taught so that origins of life are not discussed. Matters of faith are referred to the parents. The core of the play, the strength of the play, is that uh, those behind the two sides of the conflict are able to come to some form of at least recognition of one another and each other's positions. and a respect for each other as human beings. From one sinner to another. You trying to convert me, Raymond? I in no way hope that we are converting people in either way when they come see this. If anything, I just hope they're willing to walk out the door and have the same conversations that our characters are able to have in the play and find, find the person standing across from you and, and not the idea. It's a mission here to do plays to make people talk about how our society works and how we treat each other as human beings and, and where we're headed, where we've come from and where we're going. So I, it's, it, it's a perfect piece. Mm -hmm.